Hi students, uh, today we're going to look at chapter 11 in book 5, okay, Wordly Wise, book 5. So, uh, congratulations, you have finished half of this book. Okay, we're going to go over the pronunciation and then we're going to look at how to use the sentences, okay? So, uh, please turn to page 116. Okay, so say these words with me. So, the first one, you have to say it kind of interesting. Ah. Accelerate, okay? So this CC, the first C is going to be a hard C, and the second C is going to be a soft C. So it's going to be K, okay? Accelerate, okay? It's very similar to almost an XL, okay? Accelerate. Altitude, altitude. Anxious, anxious. Brace, brace. Confident. Confident. Okay. Contact. Contact. Exalt. Exalt. Hanger. Hanger. Maximum. Maximum. Methodical. Make sure you're, you're TH, okay? Methodical. Nonchalant. Proceed. Saunter. Solo and stall. Stall. Okay? Okay, so one more time. Accelerate. Accelerate. Altitude. Anxious. Brace. Confident. Contact. Exult. Hanger. Maximum. Methodical. Nonchalant. Proceed. Saunter. Solo and stall. Okay? And if you think <coughs> if you think uh, the story this week is going to be about airplanes, you are correct. Okay? Okay, let's discuss these words. Accelerate. It means to go faster and faster. Okay? That does not mean fast. Okay? You know, if you have a snail and the snail is like going like this and then this and this and this and this. It's still moving slow, but it is accelerating, okay? If you have a race car, and it's zoom, but here's 100 kilometers an hour, and here's 100 kilometers an hour, and here's 100 kilometers an hour, it is not accelerating, okay? It's just a steady pace, okay? Accelerate means that you go faster and faster, okay? So if I drop this, it'll go faster and faster, okay? Gravity will bring it faster and faster. And if I if I drop this and it hits the table, okay, it's going fast. But if I go up, 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 up in an airplane and I drop it, and it goes zoom and hits the table, it'll be going faster, okay? It'll be accelerating, accelerating. Okay, so accelerate. Now, accelerate is a good word, and then the opposite is decelerate, okay? And be careful because accelerate has two C's, okay? And decelerate only has one, okay? So lots of students spell this one wrong. Decelerate means to go slower and slower and slower. Okay? The race car decelerated, okay? Good. After the stoplight, we accelerated to 100 kilometers an hour, okay? So waiting at the stop site, and then stoplight, and then green. Then maybe five seconds later or ten seconds later, you're doing 100 kilometers an hour. Okay. Now, the second word is altitude. Altitude means how high from the earth are you. Okay. So if you're standing and you want to be on a really high place, you'll stand on Mount Everest. Okay. That's the highest place. If you want to go to a higher altitude, <coughs> Then Mount Everest, you have to be inside an airplane, okay, or a rocket or something. So altitude means how high from from the ground you are, okay. So here, this house, it's raining, okay, but this house up here, it's snowing. Why? Because this house is at a higher altitude, so it's colder and it's snowing. This house is at a lower altitude, so it's raining. Okay? So we usually say lower altitude and higher altitude. Okay? Yeah, good. Anxious. 
Okay, so the A-N here has kind of like an A-N-G sound, okay? So anxious, anxious, okay, anxious. Anxious kind of has two meanings. Um, the first, I would say, means that you're worried, okay? So here, Tony was anxious about driving in the snow, okay? So maybe he, Tony has to drive up this hill. And there's snow up there. He's like, oh, it's slippery. I don't want to drive. I don't want to drive. But Tony has to, so he's a little bit anxious. Anxious, okay? So in this sentence, anxious here means worried. Now here, the kids are anxious to open their Christmas presents. Here, it doesn't mean worried. What is the meaning? The meaning is more like excited. Excited, okay? They're impatient. Impatient, okay? That means they're not patient, and they want to open open the, the Christmas presents, okay? So here, the anxious is not worried. Okay? Now, here anxious and here anxious. Worried and here more like uh, uh, excited. There's also a noun, anxiety, okay? So someone has anxiety. Someone is anxious, has anxiety, okay? That's how you use the words. Next is brace, brace. Brace is a pretty hard word, okay? So brace usually has something to do with making things stronger, okay? So um, my sentence here, after the earthquake, the city quickly braced all the bridges, okay? So maybe there's an earthquake and the bridges shake, shook, shook, but didn't fall down. But now the city is worried, will the bridge fall down? They want to know, they want to know um, if the, the bridge is safe. So they'll brace the bridges, make the bridges stronger, okay? Um, and, and then they'll test it, and then the cars will go again, okay? So they're bracing the, br the bridges, making them stronger. Now, bracing can also happen before something, okay? So if somebody throws a rock at me, and I see it here, I guess, and I'm like, I braced myself. I'm like, like this, you brace yourself. If someone's going to hit you and you see it and then you're like, like this, and then they're going to hit you, okay? You're bracing yourself. You're making yourself a little bit stronger, okay? Um, now, with that meaning, the noun also, also brace, okay? Same spelling, brace, and the noun is also brace. Um, it also means to make something stronger. So if you have a car accident, maybe Tony, Tony had a car accident driving in the snow, okay? And then his neck hurts. Maybe he's going to wear a big thing like this, and it will make his neck stronger, okay? Or a leg brace. The basketball player wore a leg brace, okay? It's, it's, a, it's going to be some equipment that will make his legs stronger, okay? And these over here are braces for your teeth, okay? They're making your teeth not stronger, but making your teeth better. These are called braces. Now, the last thing for brace, there is another one called, uh, another word, bracing. Bracing. Um, and it doesn't mean stronger, but it means like very fresh or makes you um, very kind of excited. But we usually use this for nature. Like if you go outside on a very cold day and you go jogging, um, it might feel great, right? And you're, you're like, oh, the air, the weather is all very bracing. Okay. If you live far away from the ocean, but then you go to the ocean, maybe you'll feel really good and healthy. You'll be like, ah, it smells so good here. Nature, the ocean. You'll say the, the, the smell is very bracing. Okay. So here, I, I have one more. The spring wind was bracing. It's making people, oh, oh, that's a nice wind like this. Okay. Giving you energy. Good. Next word is confident. Confident means that you you know you can do it, okay? If I say, oh, the student is very confident, the student's like, yeah, test will be good, test will be good. This is a confident person. Somebody who's not confident, uh, they will, they, someone will ask them, will the test be good? And they're like, I don't know. I think I'm going to do bad. This is not confident, okay? Not confident. Now, if I think my student's going to do well, I'll say, I had or have 
I have confidence in you. Okay. Um, maybe um, um, the test is over. They say, oh, I had a lot of. Many times we'll say a lot of. I had a lot of confidence in my student. And my student got 100%. Okay. So the student did well. Okay. Now, so we often say A had confidence in B. My parents had confidence in me before I went to university. Like that. Okay. Now, if you tell somebody something in confidence, um, it has a totally different meaning, okay? It's a noun again, but this confidence means that um, you are trusting somebody not to tell the secret, okay? So maybe I'll tell you um, my wife's uh, birthday gift. For my wife's birthday, I'm going to give her earrings. Earrings. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. Now, you go and tell my wife, Daryl's going to give you earrings. Daryl's going to give you earrings. And then I'll be angry. Oh, why? Why? Why did you tell her that? I told you the secret in confidence. It means privately, in secret, okay? So this one it means more kind of like in, in secret way, okay? In confidence. Good. Good. Okay. The next word is contact. Contact has two kind of meanings, okay? <clears throat> the first means just touching. Touching. <laughs> One finger contacts the other finger, okay? Um, so, here. The fire started when the gas contacted the electricity, okay? So the gas maybe is kind of going across the floor, and then electricity, and then fire. Like this, okay? So contact here just means like touch. Um, scientists talk about uh, contacting, contacting other planets, aliens from other planets, okay? Now this can mean touching them, or it can mean the second meaning, communicating, okay? Talking, maybe giving messages or pictures or something like that, okay? So um, you can communicate uh, with your cousins communicate okay um, the verb or you can contact your cousins okay it means you talk to them talk to them maybe phone them or computer email or something like that text message this is contact contact them okay um good 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 okay and it's the verb the verb is going to mean like uh, uh, talking with them okay communicating I contacted my Kindergarten teacher. Okay, it means I phoned her or I I uh, gave her a letter or something like that. Exult. Exult means that you're super happy. Okay, you celebrate, almost like celebration. Like uh, maybe if Canada wins a hockey, big big important hockey game. Okay, and then everyone goes outside and they're like, Hey Canada, Canada, oh Canada, and everyone's like super happy. Okay. We exalted. Now, you can say we exalted over or we exalted when. Okay? So Canada wins the big hockey game. And we exalted when Canada won the game. We exalted over Canada's victory. Okay. So when we do over, we're going to usually have a noun. Okay. So we exalted over Canada's victory. Over. We exalted when Canada won the game. A noun phrase. This is usually a little bit longer. Okay. So yep. Good. So if you uh, if you study really hard and then later you go to a great university, what will your parents do? Okay. Give me a sentence with exult. With exult. Okay. My parents or your parents. But you, you can say the sentence. My parents exalted when I went to the great university. Uh, my parents exalted over my university acceptance. Okay? So over and when. Over and when. Good. And then exultant just means like happy. But not a little bit happy. Like if you find some money outside... 
you say, oh, I'm happy. I found some money, but not exultant. Exultant will be more like you're, you're, you get married or have children or you uh, win a million dollars, like lots of money. You'll be, I'm, he, I was very exultant. She was exultant. Like that. Okay. Now a hanger, a hanger. This is like a garage. We put the car in the garage, okay? But an airplane is much bigger. So you put the airplane in the hangar, okay? There's my airplane. <laughs> I'm not an art teacher, okay? Uh, but anyways, uh, a car will go in the garage. An airplane will go in the hangar, okay? Hangar. Now, there's one word I want you to remember too, okay? For your clothes, you'll put your clothes on this thing, okay? And it's called a hanger. That one, okay? You you want your clothes to look good, so you put them on a hanger, uh, and then put them in the closet, okay? That's a hanger with an E-R. This is hanger with an A-R, okay? So just be careful with that one. That is my great airplane. <laughs> uh, airplane hanger. Good, good. Next word is maximum. Okay, maximum. It means the most. You cannot have any more. Okay, that's the maximum. Maximum. So, if a test, if a test has uh, 50 questions, okay, and they're all the same points, okay, all one point, then the maximum score will be 50. Okay, if you get all the questions right, you will have the maximum score. Okay, the minimum would be zero. That's the opposite. Okay, maximum, minimum. Okay, so um, you can have maximum as a noun. Quite often, it'll be a maximum of 50 people. Okay? The bus has a maximum of 50 people. The restaurant has a maximum of 200 people. Okay, if there's more than that, then the people have to wait outside in the restaurant. But uh, maximum can also be an adjective. Okay, so usually uh, with a noun. Okay. So, yeah, because adjectives and nouns will go together. Good. Okay, so it just means the most. Okay. Um, good. Methodical. Methodical means, if I can do this, uh, that you have a method. You have a method, okay? People with a method, and they do the method, are methodical. Okay, methodical. Um, it means that you do something with a lot of thinking, okay? But also with order. You do this. And this, and this, and this, okay? Good. So here is my sentence. The doctor is methodical in all operations. Okay? So the doctor will, maybe, in, in before the operation, will put a hat on, a special hat for his hair or her hair. Um, we'll put the special clothes on, wash his hands or her hands, like this, okay? Um, put the, the instruments uh, the, 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 the knife for cutting and all that. So the doctor is very methodical, okay? Every time the same, okay? Using the method, the method, okay? Now methodically, methodically uh, is just the adverb, okay? An adjective with L-Y turns, turns it into an adverb, okay? So the pilot methodically packed for the trip. Sorry for that, and sorry for the under that. But the pilot methodically packed for the trip. It means the pilot has done this many, many times. So the pilot packed his pants, his shirt, his socks, his underwear, his scarf, his jacket, um, uh, stuff for his phone, his passport, his money, his tickets, done. And the next week, the pilot will do the same thing, okay? This is being methodical, packing methodically, okay? Good. So here I've got the adverb, methodically packed. Here I have nonchalantly took, okay? So this is an adverb and this is an adverb, okay? So methodically packed, nonchalantly took, okay? I'll talk about that in a minute. Nonchalant, it means like uncaring and stuff like that. Um, hey, Daryl! Hey, Daryl, uh, I killed your dog. Oh. No big reaction, okay? I'm not like, ah, you killed my dog. Nonchalant just means like, oh, okay. Daryl, I'm going to give you one million dollars. Okay. Yep. Great. 
Yeah. So nonchalant, like you're kind of being cool, okay? You're not um, having big reactions, good or bad reactions, okay? So here, when I say he nonchalantly took the money, it's just kind of like, yeah, here's money. Uh, it just means like you're not you're not showing this big emotion. There's no big reaction. Okay. If someone goes, here's the money, woohoo! This is not nonchalant. Okay. This is uh, being excited. Okay. So nonchalantly. Okay. Nonchalantly took. Okay. Good. After going to the store, we proceeded to the park. What does this mean? Okay. It was next. Okay, we went there next. So maybe they went to the store and bought some drinks and some chips, and then they went to the park. So proceeded would mean next. Okay, if I go to Vicky's house and then I go to Teresa's house, I will say first I went to Vicky's house, then I proceeded to Teresa's house. Okay, so this just means I went there next. Okay, proceed, proceed. Maybe a police officer will say, everyone, proceed, proceed. It means keep going, keep going. Don't stop here. Okay, so it is this thing about going to the next place or keep going like that. That's proceed. Okay, so an S sound, soft C. Okay, proceed. Saunter, saunter. The cute couple, oh, saunter, if you know the word stroll, it means like a, um, so walk, sauntering is walking, strolling is walking, but walking really slowly, not in a hurry. If someone's walking like this, doo -doo 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 -doo, that's not strolling or not sauntering, okay? Well, strolling or sauntering is just kind of like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, maybe people in a park, they're enjoying the spring day. The air is very bracing. <sighs> so they're really enjoying the park, okay? So they are sauntering. Uh, maybe uh, an, an old man goes to the shopping mall and he's sauntering in the shopping mall, just walking slowly like this, okay? So sauntering, walking slow. Now, the cute couple sauntered slowly through the park. Okay, now, here the verb is sauntered and I did slowly. Here, I did methodically packed, nonchalantly took, methodically adverb. Packed is the verb, adverb, verb. Nonchalantly took, adverb, verb. And here, sauntered slowly, verb, adverb. Adverbs are curious things, okay? So here I put it after the verb. Could I put slowly here? The cute couple slowly sauntered through the park. Also is okay. Okay, so just be careful with adverbs, okay? They're a little bit tricky to use. So in these ones here, the pilot methodically packed. Can I put methodically here? The pilot packed methodically for the trip. It's okay. We use that lots for talking. Uh, English teachers will tell you that before the verb is probably the best, okay, for this type of adverb, okay? But um, here too, a lot. The pilot packed for the trip methodically. That happens also. Okay, so just be careful with adverbs. Adverbs can go many places in the city, in the sentence. <laughs> um, but with adverbs, with adverbs, uh, um, some people like that. You can put it here, there. But English teachers usually like it close to the verb. Okay, so here, slowly sauntered or sauntered slowly. Okay? Close to the verb is the best. Okay, solo. Solo, um, it means you're playing music by yourself, okay? So everyone else is not playing music. He played a solo. You can say, he played a piano solo. He played a guitar solo, like this, okay? It means no other people are playing music at the same time as you, okay? Adjective for solo. I will say a solo trip, a solo vacation. It just means by yourself, okay? A solo drive. Okay, maybe you drive for many hours by yourself. Um, verb soloed, it will be music or usually an airplane, okay? Um, it just means that you went by yourself, okay? So, um, yesterday in band class, he soloed. It means played by yourself, 
okay, played by him himself. Um, you say the pilot, the pilot soloed yesterday. It means drive by himself, okay, drive the airplane. Good. Okay, and the last word, which is hard, because there's two noun meanings and two verb meanings. Stall. Stall is going to be a small little room, okay, where things happen. So in the bathroom stall, it means you go to the bathroom, okay? You will not have a bathroom stall in your house, okay? In your house, you just have a bathroom, okay? But if you go to a big building, okay, so if you go to a shopping mall, you open the door, and there's like 19 people in there, okay? Um, and they have a little tiny door, a little tiny door, and you open the door, and you close the door, and you lock it, and you go to the bathroom. That little thing there, that's the stall, okay? So in a big bathroom, in a shopping mall, maybe there have many stalls, okay? One person, second person, third person, fourth person, but all little tiny rooms, okay? That's a bathroom stall. So I don't think you have that in your house, okay? Now a horse stall, this is going to be in the barn, okay? And that's where the horse is going to sleep, okay? So if a barn has five horses, maybe there's going to be five stalls. And one horse will sleep in one stall, and another horse will sleep in another stall, like that. Okay, now, and now uh, another noun meaning for stall is like a table or something um, where people will sell things, okay? So maybe... Your city will have, a, have a, uh, one day a week. Saturdays. Saturdays, go to the park. And there'll be lots of tables. And this table is going to be selling shoes. And this table is selling candy. This table is selling vegetables. Okay? This is, these are all different stalls. Okay? So, um, I, bought, I bought some socks over at that stall. Okay? So, it means that little tiny mini store. Okay? Two more meanings, the verbs, okay? Stall, the verb. The old car, the old car stalled. Here it means that the car stopped. This verb meaning and these noun meanings are totally different, okay? The old car stalled when it went up the hill. So the car is going up the hill. And it stopped. Okay, so this means the car stalled. Okay, so it means stopped. Some engine, engine stops working. Okay, the boat stalled in the middle of the ocean. Not a good thing. Okay, now you have to phone somebody for help. Okay, hopefully your phone works. Okay, so stall, it means the engine stopped working. And last, the last verb for stall, it means that you try to make somebody slow. Okay. The students stall the teacher before the test. So maybe the teacher says, students, students, books away, test time. And then the students are like, oh, can I get some water? Teacher's like, okay. Oh, can I sharpen my pencil? Okay. Oh, can we close the window? Like this. These are students who don't want to do the test. So they are stalling. They're stalling the teacher, okay? When I tell my son, go to bed, go to bed, he usually doesn't want to, okay? So they're like, dad, can I brush my teeth? Okay, yeah, you need to brush your teeth. Dad, dad, can I finish this book? Okay. Dad, dad, can I hug you? He's stalling because he doesn't want to go to bed, okay? So this is stalling. Did you stall when your parents told you to go to bed? Right? Uh, anyways, this is all called stalling. It means to go slow. So stalling is a hard word. Okay, There's lots of meanings for that. Study for the test. Okay, um, If you want any help for, with these words, you can talk to me in the comment box. Have a good day. Bye-bye.